Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Can't even look at this. We know that they're together right now. Let's go. We're on our way right now. What's hey, all this about? Nicole? Nicole? What's all this about? Robert, Robert. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. It's like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about him, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hey, me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. down, camera. Stop. 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 Whoa, whoa. This is, like, not how this is supposed Land, to work, Just John. go. Go with him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real Reality Television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Welcome. I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Cheaters. In this case, please meet Robert Lucas, a hardworking man who believes his girlfriend may be fooling around while he's out of town. Desperately in need of a second pair of eyes, Robert hires Cheaters to check out his wayward girlfriend. Robert Lucas, age 31, a security advisor concerned that his girlfriend may be taking her friendship with other men to an objectionable level. Well, Nicole and I met uh, through some friends down in Greenville. I was in town for business. Uh, I was at one of the establishments that I was working for, and we just hooked up. Friends of mine got us together, and we've been really happy ever since. She was looking for a place. She was looking to move out from the home she was living in at the time. And the apartment was the best idea. So I said, well, hey, look, you know, I've got the pad up here. Why don't you go ahead and move in? You know, I'll take care of, you know, you go on and take care of half the rent. I'll take care of the other half. And that way you'll have a nice place to stay and I have somewhere to come and we can see each other. The past couple weeks, I've been noticing things around the house, uh, thong panties, you know, um, Sort of a lot of the things that I, I wanted to purchase for her and she was never really interested in. She never had any interest in that and I'm noticing those around. I really, I really hope that this is not going to turn out the way I think it is. Because it would just, it would tear me apart. I just haven't had anyone like her before. <laughs> If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Nicole Pruitt, age 28. A dental hygienist who may be scoping out other male suitors while her boyfriend's out of town. Investigation day two. Cheaters investigators make a crucial discovery in the case a day after initiating the inquiry. An unknown vehicle makes a stop at the apartment that complainant Lucas shares with his girlfriend. An unknown male sporting a bright white shirt steps out of his car and shimmies toward the couple's front entrance. A long time later, two individuals are spotted walking in the direction of the parking lot. It doesn't take long for cheaters to verify that the female in question is none other than the suspect, Nicole Pruitt. The gentleman in white graciously opens the car door for his new squeeze and departs the area as if in a bit of a hurry. Suspect Pruitt and boyfriend take to each other's lips like two puckerfish. A few blocks later, suspect Pruitt is chaperoned to a local convenience store. She apparently likes to take her sweet time as she calmly strolls out some 10 minutes later. Her companion doesn't seem to mind a bit. Maybe his reward for patience will be sooner than expected. The couple heads straight back to her apartment. Suspect Pruitt and comrade walk arm in arm into the apartment she shares with her boyfriend. Unable to check out their indoor activities, Cheater's agents pulled the plug on the day's surveillance. Investigation day three. 
The very next day, Cheater's investigators are back at the apartment when guess who pulls up? None other than her male companion, who has now been identified as Michael Johnson. He darts through the pouring rain and goes straight for his sweetheart's apartment. Inspectors take a good look at what transpires as a result of complainant Lucas's use of a state-of-the-art hidden camera. Companion Johnson plops down on the couch. He cracks a big smile and lures her in with his enigmatic charm. After the infatuated lovers retire to the master bedroom, Cheaters decides to bring the day's investigation to a halt. Investigation Day 6. After a few days of inactivity, Companion Johnson's car is spotted pulling into the complex. Investigators take a peek at what's going on inside after Companion Johnson disappears from view. As the camera rolls, the room heats up. In the meantime, complainant Lucas gets kicked in the teeth again by his sweet girlfriend, as referenced in a recorded phone call. Inspectors conclude that enough is enough and call off any remaining inquiries to assess the damage. After the break, the confrontation. Now that the doubt has been removed from the dubious activities in this case, Cheaters calls upon Robert to discuss all the specifics. Unsettled by the possible outcome, Robert comes forward to deal with the situation at hand. Robert, thanks for meeting us out here tonight. I know it was a long trip for you today coming up from Houston. The reason that we did need to get you up here is because we do have some information from our investigators that we want you to take a look at. All right? Yeah. On this day in the investigation, we have a car pull up, unknown gentleman steps out of the car, and after some time in the apartment, we see Nicole leaving with this gentleman. Just seemed to be driving around in the neighborhood, but now we start oh, to see. Man. Now, Robert, that's the first indication of what's been happening when we haven't been able to get inside the apartment. Now, Robert, on this day in the investigation, the same gentleman shows up. What we see happening on that furniture, Robert, is not something that I'd oh. expect. You can't even look at this. Damn. Now, Robert, our investigation continued. On this day, same gentleman comes to your home, and now we start to see the real concrete evidence of deception. I know that's not what you want to see, but does this... Robert, I know she this knew is... It. She knew it. I asked her. I asked her a million times. You know, I was... Okay, Robert, we know that they're together right now. They're at your place. Do you want to go head over there? Let's go. OK, let's head over in this direction. I just, I can't, I can't understand why anything like this would happen, you know? I mean, I've given her everything, everything that I could possibly, that she could possibly ask for, she's gotten from me. And for what? You know? It's Joey. They, they just left the complex. Go straight down to Abrams. OK, they just went mobile, guys. Stay close to him, keep me posted. Let me know as soon as they stop someplace and stay close to him, all right? They're at a gas station at Walnut and Abrams. It's right on the corner, you can't miss them. Smoking a cigarette at a gas station, look at that. They're at a gas station, they're stopped. Are they inside or are they in the, just staying in the car? They're pumping gas. All right, we're on our way right now. We should, we're just like a couple seconds away. We're pulling in right now. 
What's all this about? Nicole? What's all this about? Who are you? 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 Is Robert your fiance? No, you yes. must make it away from me. Yes, he Can is. you explain what you're doing with this gentleman? I don't know, man. Uh, sir, man. sir, sir, sir. He can ask me some I don't questions. Know. I have no private. issue with you. Robert doesn't have any issue with you. No, I don't this appreciate is a girl. This. No, I don't appreciate all these motherfuckers. I can no, understand. Man. Look, I can understand. I don't why appreciate you're upset. you being with my girl either. I That's can. You nigga. That's okay. my girl. You ain't got these nuts, motherfucker. Boy. Hey. Coming up next, the conclusion. This is Nick not Trump. the time and the place for all of this. Not out in public. Oh. He should get all no. this. Hey, we just want to get some questions answered. Hey, you don't need to ask me. For you. No. I'm going to go. Oh, uh, yeah. See? This is, no, all, this is what I get. Two years you of my life. Two years you of my life. Hey, man. Piss off on me. Hey, man. You didn't need to do all this. Hey, man. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't nobody got to hear nothing like that from you. Oh, no. No, no, 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 no. No, no Let's get, let's talk about, talk. Listen, look at me, Robert, Robert, look at me. Take a breath, ask questions, all right? Stay here for a second, stay here for a second. Okay, Nicole, Robert just wants to ask some questions. I'm not Man, look here, no dog, questions. I'm telling you, get the camera off. Cut that, no, cut it off! But you're living in his apartment. What did I do to deserve all of this? Say, man, back up. Hey, I don't want to hear none out of you, all right? Say, man, I will beat your ass. Yeah, what, what, what? What are you going to do? Like I said, bitch, suck my... You ain't got nothing going on. Why do you have to put your hands on me? What did I ever do to deserve anything like this, huh? We're not good for each other, okay? You want to hear it now? You want to hear it now? Now, after two years... You get on my damn nerves, Oh, I get on your nerves. You get on my mother... How do I get That's on your right. nerves? You get on my mother. Oh, oh, my oh yeah, on I my get on my nerves. I put a house get your over your ass head. Out of here. Bitch, I thought you loved me. Robert, I ain't your Robert. bitch, nigga. I ain't your bitch. I'll tell hey, you man, that you one, more, that one more time. time. I'll burn you. Yeah, yeah, you got some. You got some. You got some. So I got you later. Come over here. I don't even want to hear anything like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. Right here, what you gonna do? Whatever, Bebop. You know, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah. You can't do it. Say, man, I'll tell you one more time. Put your hands on me, dog. I'll kill you, dog. What? What? Yeah. What? Two years of our life. What? I'm going. I'm going. Two years of our life, huh? Man. Everything's in my name. Hey, man, what you gotta be messing with her for? Hey, hey, I'm gonna hey, beat hey, your hey, mother hey, ass, dog. Don't no, man. relax. I told you before, dog. I don't hear none of that. I ain't can scared of you, nigga. What? Can we go? Bring that to me. Stop. Bring it to me, dog. Stop. Stop. Say, man, I'm gonna tell you one more time. Keep your mother hands up. Say, hey. bitch, what? What? No! I ain't worried about none of these mother... I just want that one right this there. This is what, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You ain't shit, man. man. Come here. You ain't not about a thing to me. Come You're nothing to me. Let's go. You're nothing to me. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go. You better have all that stuff out of there tonight. Would you want her back? I don't even think I can answer that right now. And did you see that guy? Who the hell was that guy? Where did she pick him up? At the, you know, the, the local crack house or something? It's over. I'm just not even gonna try anymore. It's not even worth it. After the confrontation, Robert tries desperately to deal with his pain. Coming up shortly, Cheaters reveals his plans for the future. But next, Cheaters presents Desiree Gomez, previously caught on the show hooking up with her boyfriend's boss. Desiree comes to Cheaters with various explanations of why she chose to give up on her relationship. Desiree Gomez, age 22 
Desiree discusses her case with cheaters and gives an honest rendition of all the specific details. When I first saw Matthew with y'all guys and y'all came up on us, um, first thing I <laughs> thought about was Matthew is a, um, for him, for him to go call y'all guys to do his work, it just exemplifies what kind of, what kind of man he is. And he can't do nothing for himself. He has to have other people do his work for him. Stay there, Matthew. Stay there, Matthew. Sorry. Desiree, I'm Joey Greco with Cheaters. Yes. Well, we know that you're in. What the hell are you doing? Which is where she what? told him she was going to be today. But you know that for his boss. No, 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 no. Can you no. tell him why you've been lying to him? I was pissed that he would go through all this, like I said. I mean, I, I, all he had to do was ask me instead of putting this in, on public TV or knowing all everybody's going to be watching this. Loser, that's why she's uh, blew no, you off. No, no, no. What, no what loser, is this man? about? There's no. Jeez. You're his boss. Yeah, you he take me to work you. and you this go is out with your my girl and lunch? Because you can't take care what? of your Oh, man, what? I can take care of my girl. What are you doing this? You have to bring the whole world into this? Now, what's no, what's this? Why can't you just tell him that you weren't happy if you weren't happy? And I'm out of here. Ever since it's aired on national TV, people think of me differently now. Um, I mean, at my jobs, I can't, I can't stay at just one job. I have to keep switching my job just because of Every time this show airs, I got my bosses hitting on me. I got employees smacking my ass. Desiree, you've got a place to go. If that's what you want to talk about, we'll talk about it at home. Oh, and what's this? I'll get my purse. Oh, Damn this it. is nice. Oh, what what is, this? is this? It's for the kids at the daycare, Matthew. In relationships, I find that honesty is the best policy. And right now, I'm not in a relationship, and I'm not looking to be in a relationship anytime soon. I'm just trying to get my life back together right now, and I'm going to start going to school because I want to be a teacher. Matthew, let's go home and talk about this, please. I'm asking you nicely. Fine. We'll talk about it at home if you're lucky. Let's talk about it at Look, home. Look, now you're leaving? Oh, it doesn't feel... It, it doesn't feel so good, does it? Let's just talk about this at home, okay? Okay, fine, Please, we'll talk about it. I just don't want you to touch me right now. I don't want to talk about this with nobody else but Matthew. Nobody okay. else but Matthew. Don't you Why? Because, you... what, you feel bad for what you've done? I mean, what, you've run around and done all this? And, Matthew, what? I'm not going to talk stupid, about this You feel stupid, don't nobody... you? As far as cheaters goes, I think you guys are the armpit of society. I mean, anybody who watches y'all show can't have an IQ over 100. Just, to, just by the guys who have hit on me after the show is after the show has aired. I mean, y'all, y'all people are horrible. What y'all do, and I hope y'all show gets canceled. After the confrontation, Robert Lucas says that he's looking forward to living alone again and is glad to be rid of the ex-girlfriend he refers to as a tramp. Mr. Lucas expresses a deep appreciation to the team at Cheaters for finding out what was going on while he was out of town. Still, he's quite angered by the actions of Ms. Pruitt and affirmed that it will take time to cool. After careful examination, Mr. Lucas pointed out that she was possibly on drugs, which may be an explanation for her sleeping with such an undesirable individual. Also, it may explain why she's so skinny and unhealthy in appearance. He says that it is due to his being out of town all the time and simply not looking out for the warning signs. Nicole Pruitt admits that she probably steered Robert the wrong way, but defends her position by saying that he should have known that their relationship was on its last leg. She proclaims that Robert has a very hard time accepting the inevitable, and he did not know how to take a hint that she was rapidly losing interest. Nicole affirms that she could have dealt with the situation in a better way, but still places most of the blame on Robert, leading her astray. Nicole strongly denies involvement with narcotics of any kind. Nicole wants to move on with her life and try to steer clear of men with deep-seated mental problems. Cheetah's producers made several attempts to contact Michael Johnson but could not locate his whereabouts. Cheating is a crime. It happens 
Jersey.